Yeah! Hola gang, and welcome again to Old Nerd Reviews. I'm Tony, I'm your old nerd of the day, and I try things so you don't have to. Today I am at Burger King, and I'll be trying their brand new buffalo chicken fries. Now, I liked their last offering, their spicy fries, whatever it was. Really good, reminded me a lot of the hot wings over at KFC, which I absolutely love. So that was a hit with me. I'm wondering how much difference they can put between those spicy fries and these spicy fries. Of course, we'll be hitting up the clipboard of fluff, and according to it, it says, our one-of-a-kind buffalo chicken fries are made with white meat chicken and coated in a buffalo seasoned breading with smooth, smooth flavors of mild peppers, tangy vinegar, and creamy butter cooked to a crispy perfection. Uh, buffalo chicken fries are shaped like fries and are perfect to dip in any of our delicious dipping sauces. And you can choose from ranch, barbecue, honey mustard, zesty, sweet and sour, and our specialty chicken fry sauce. Chicken fry sauce is good, but I got the sweet and sour and the honey mustard. And there is the packaging for the buffalo chicken fries. Looks very similar to their regular fries and their zesty, spicy offering last time. He's just a little chicken in disguise as a buffalo. Okay, so let's break in. And how many fries do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10 fries in there. So there's what the buffalo chicken fry looks like. Uh, orange, reddish color, looks very similar to their other ones, uh, especially their last offering. Um, this smells like a warm nacho Dorito. That's what it smells like, exactly like that. Let's give it a try. I would say the breading to meat ratio is about 50-50. Light breading on the outside, it's not like a KFC extra crispy, but just very light. Um, the white meat chicken inside is good. In comparison to something, I would say that if you took a slightly spicier nacho Dorito and breaded it on a piece of chicken, this is what you'd have. It has got a nice bite to it. It kind of sneaks up on you, uh, not immediately as soon as you bite it, but it kind of eases its way in. It's not overly spicy, which uh, for me means it might be bordering on the not spicy at all for you spicy lovers. Can't really taste a vinegar type of flavor like it said it had. There is a little savory type of butter flavor in there, so I can taste that. Let's break into the sweet and sour. I actually like it better without the sweet and sour. I think equally the honey mustard is going to hide more of the flavor than I like, so I think I'll stick to the bare naked chicken here. To be perfectly honest, I like the last spicy chicken fries that they had over these. And the damage wasn't bad. I got 10 fries for $2.99. On the Nerdometer, I would give the BK uh, Buffalo Chicken Fries, um, I would give them a middle of the road, I like it. Tasty, uh, it's got a nice bite to it, not too much to where I, I just can't handle it. Um, but it, it, it's got a nice little heat to it. The chicken and the breading are, are exactly the same as their last two fries. This just has the addition of the buffalo seasoning. Would I get it again? Um, no, probably not, just because I, I don't really like spicy stuff except for the KFC. If they brought those back, I'd be coming back to get them all the time. So if you're a heat lover, um, you probably will think these are mediocre. Um, if you're uh, not, then you'll probably think they're good. I'd like to thank my Patreon supporters for supporting this channel and helping me go out and do all these fun reviews. There you go, gang. Another review in the bag. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and join me over at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Old Nerd Reviews and become a part of the Old Nerd Crony community. Uh -huh over on the website also at oldnerdreviews.com. You guys have a freaking awesome day, and uh, take care. Bye now.